Hello, I'm Antonio Castilla. We will perform an isometric perspective given by the plant and raised piece. We have placed the three axes of perspective. It is desirable but not mandatory that on their own views also place ourselves where the X, Y and Z axes are. This will help to orient and position each object in the right place. To draw a perspective is always advisable to break the body into simpler volumes. For example, the lower body can consider constituted by a box, here marked with thicker line. In this case, we will measure the length of the long, marked with the thick red line and we will put in the corresponding axis, in this case as it is on the x-axis, placed in the axis x. After that we will measure the width is on the axis of Y and place it on the axis of the Y with a pair of parallel to the axis we have the base of the lower box. We turn to give volume. We live marked by the blue segment and place for each vertex of the lower base 4 parallel to the axis Z with the same length. Joining the ends of the four segments or performing a parallel to the lower base we have already built the box that is the basis of the entire piece. The lines that lie hidden behind the markers though will suppressing lines, such as hidden line visibility difficult object. We turn now to another of the volumes that we have imagined that the object is made. Above the previous case we see that another alleged case, stronger marked in black, both elevation and in the plant, which will be the next object located there. The way to do exactly the same. As the piece is centered, we go from the center to take the length that is in the direction of the axis, x, and place it on the appropriate line, we measured height which are the two blue lines and put them on the perspective parallel to the axis of the Z lines linking them to each other and have the front side of the box. We depth for this we have the depth, the magenta segment, which coincides with the width of the box and place it on the perspective. We again make parallel to the axis and we have the other side of the case. Finally, we trace parallel to the other side to construct full box. We determine the lines to be hidden, in this case these two, and suppress the auxiliary lines. Since the line was before here is part of a single face, removing hidden lines so that there is greater clarity on the part this is the result we have so far. We passed other volumes, in this case the central hexagonal hole that runs through the body to slide as would dovetail at the bottom. We locate the center of the hexagon, which is right in the center of the square which is the top of the piece. On the ground we will draw a number of auxiliary lines, oranges, to measure where they will be the vertices. You remember that in a perspective you can only measure those lengths that go in the direction of X, Y and Z axis, that is Y. Here we measure the distance we see in magenta to measure where these two vertices are and that is red to measure the third vertex. These two distances we are going to put in perspective. On these distances we will have the vertices, orange distance measured from the magenta and we'll put another symmetrically to the other side. And located all vertices of the hexagon it remains to be joining them. For the depth of the hexagon, we will take your height and six vertices of the hexagon we will lose six corresponding parallel to the axis Z lines. The end unite or parallel to the lower base. 
This is if we draw all lines that have the hidden piece. If we will not draw hidden lines only we have to lose those inside the hexagon edges and until they touch the same contour of the hexagon, in this case the two blue lines. This is the end result of what we have drawn so far. Let's move to another volume, in this case the two side ribs on the sides. It is also facilitating focusing distance measurement. We measure these magenta lines and took their corresponding edges. There are four, ones that are down and other up. As I will draw lines and hidden views, I will draw both nerves. Located just four lines must unite with each other and have the blue lines of the slope of the nerves. Nerves completed following the contour of the faces on which is supported parallel to axis Z and a direction parallel to axis X as we only want the lines seen. You just have to erase what is on the inside of nerve and another nerve leaving only the part that is visible but in this case nothing will. We will make the lower hole shaped dovetail, this gap is also centered, from the center we will take the blue distances horizontal. At its center the red vertical take away and since then the magenta distance, we just need to attach the ends magenta with the blue end to achieve the desired shape. We have brought the prospect distances parallel to the axis X and Z axis. Joining their ends, the two lines in brown have the inclination to own isometric deformation. If we are to draw hidden lines must give depth. We measure the green distance that matches the thickness of the workpiece. For the four vertices draw lines parallel to the axis Y. Linking them together have the outlet hole of the same shape. If we will only draw the part with the outside view it is enough in drawing a line to the bottom. The last volume is missing of the two hexagonal projections. They're at the front and at the back and in the elevation we see them in their true magnitude. The way to do that is equal but out of hollow rather than inward. The hexagon is centered on the part. So from the center down the blue distance to place its center at the prospect. As before, we will help these lines, both magenta and orange and green, to put its vertices. From the center we place those parallel to the axis X and Z distances. It is important to look at what axis parallel to the same elevation to place them in perspective. For the other vertices are equal distances but up, connecting the dots have the hex. Deleting auxiliary lines this is what we would, now we must take the volume out. We measure the depth that has the hexagonal prism, the red line. And draw the vertices of the hexagon parallel to the axis Y and took the distance. Joining six points or by a parallel prism another base have drawn, if only we will draw the lines view, we delete what is inside, for the prism behind the process is the same. Or prolong the lines backwards, measure the distance between each other, and carry. Now I'm just drawing what stands out and is seen, and this is the final result of the piece.
Do not forget to subscribe, click on like and visit our website.